Rapid Start versus Extreme Micos. The results are in. Let's uh, take a peek and see what we've got. Looking at the two side by side, these are the buckwheat plants. You can tell the one on the right here has got a very significant advantage over the one on the left. Both plant-wise and root-wise. Next up we've got the daikon radishes. And both of these are pretty similar. I think the greens are a little bit bigger on the left side than the right. But uh, I gotta say, take a look at the roots on the right here. Lots of very fuzzy, good root, very healthy root growth. On the left, there is none of that. I'll separate the roots out for the daikon radishes just so we can see the roots side by side, the actual edible portion, and see uh, if that looks any different. All right, separating the roots out here, I would give the advantage to the left side here. This one is substantially bigger. And uh, the two small ones, even the really small ones, the uh, advantage is still on the left here. So I'm gonna say I think the left side won on this one. Even though we had the uh, really fuzzy bushy roots on the uh, right. Here's a look at the peas on the left side and the right side. And I think this one is a clear winner for the uh, right side. Definitely have way more root growth here. And on the top, this is healthier and it's sturdier. It's also a lot bigger. So the winter field peas definitely did better on the uh, right side. All right, before I reveal, I'd like you guys to pick which one you think is the best. As you can see, the Mycos is the one on the left and the Rapid Start was the one on the right. Now, before we get to the evaluation and the final pH and PPM of the solutions, let's go ahead and take a look at how this experiment came together. My nutrient of choice in this one is uh, the Flora Micro Grow and Bloom series. And I used reverse osmosis water to put this all together. I did mix a very light solution on this one. I'm not sure, I can't recall if it was error on my part or if it was intentional. But anyway, there is a three ml of each the micro grow and bloom that go into each solution that get mixed in, which is a very light nutrient solution. Because I'm using reverse osmosis water, I'll have to pH up the solution to make sure that the pH is hitting its target of 6.0. As you can see, the PPM is 151 on the left and 152 on the right, so they're pretty dang close to exactly the right nutrient quantities or being very close to the same amount of nutrients in each. I use cheesecloth here, and there's no fancy reason for it. It's just to keep the perlite out of my pumps and out of the pails. After assembling the pails, both pumps are on a timer run with my Habitat Home Automation, and those are set to run three times a day for 30 minutes a piece at 8, 12, and 4 p.m. For the rapid start and both the uh, micos, I just used the instructions on the package. A uh, little bit loosely on the uh, left side with the micos uh, than I did on the rapid start. The rapid start has a very accurate measurement on the back, so it was pretty easy to just measure it up and squirt it into the pail, mix it up, and go ahead and plant my uh, seeds. For the micos, I just uh, used a uh, the spoon that came with it and put some on the top of the perlite and put the seeds on top of that. For planting, I did exactly the same for both. The only difference is the, uh, the seeds that go on the mycos get direct contact to the nutrients or to the uh, mycorrhizae or whatever's inside of the package immediately, whereas the other ones uh, happen only when the watering happens. So. Uh, when I started this thing out, I just watered both of them immediately, as you can see. And this hopefully gives everything the same amount of contact, same amount of time, so that's not a variable there. I did go ahead and set up a camera too for the time lapse of the grow, so uh, we can take a peek at what that looks like. You can see the different watering timers kick in as well. Germination happens remarkably quick on both sides, 
stuff comes up pretty dang fast. Now I did put way too many seeds in here just to make sure we had a uh, the uh, same amount of plants coming up on both sides and I did end up thinning them up as well. And just because the daikon radishes, they overgrow way too much if I leave all of them grow. Early on, it looks like there's a bit of an advantage on the right hand side here where the daikon radishes seem to be a little bit sturdier initially. But so far, no clear advantage yet for the rapid start. Although it does look like the one on the right already has a little bit more stock on both the winter field peas and the buckwheat here. Typically I let this experiment go a little bit longer, but the reason I cut this one short is uh, rapid start is exactly that. It's supposed to be a rapid start, not a rapid finisher. So I wanted to see before the test went on for too long of a duration what the results would be. There's the final pH of the Mycos. Looks like it's right bang on six. And there's the rapid start. Looks like very much the same pH as well, right on six. So I'm happy with both. Looks like they both were very pH stable. And the PPM for the Mycos looks like it finished off at 67. And it looks like the rapid start PPM finished off at 74. So I'm not entirely sure which one I choose for either the rapid start or the mycos on this test. It's probably going to need a retest and I'm thinking I should probably bump up the nutrient solution uh, PPM because it was really, really low. However, rapid start is kind of designed for starting seedlings or uh, starting the seedling root growth. I don't know, do with it what you will for results. Uh, like I said, I'm probably gonna end up redoing this test with a stronger PPM and maybe you're running it an extra week longer just to kind of see what the uh, results would be there. If you like these kind of experiments, I've always got one on the go. The next one's going to be uh, Roots Exhilarator? Exuberator? <laughs> Not sure what that is. It's gonna be that one versus uh, NPK Raw. And the winner of that one, we're gonna put up uh, against the Mycos, which is Probably the one I've had the best overall results with. Debatable between the rapid start, but that's gonna be the next video that's coming up and I'll leave the results on either side here as soon as I've got that video made.